Hey y'all, I just wanted to pop on super quick. I'm gonna put this on my IGTV as well as YouTube because I think it'd be fun. Just to try out the IGTV thing, but I wanted to show y'all real quick what I am diving into. I am going to show y'all a video of this deck system, but I just wanted to do this super quick because I was inspired to do it. I'm doing things that are inspiring to me, right? Right? That's what my whole thing was about. Today, June 1st, it starts the 100 Days of Less Hustle, More Jesus. And this is a great devotional. I have seen these books before and, and Shauna did it. She wrote it. She's the author and I love her to pieces. I got to meet her at sister camp and it was so amazing. I was just, it's surreal. My brain can't believe that I actually got to meet her and all the wonderful ladies of illustrated faith and be at that whatever craft house. That was incredible. I've seen these books before and I've seen people work in them and I've always thought to myself, Oh my gosh, I can't even do like 100 days. That's crazy. Like I can't stick with two days of something. But I have been doing this. And first off, for a personality like myself, which I'm a three on the Enneagram, which is the achiever, there is an amount of perfectionism that you're trying to overcome all the time. Like you want to do it right. You want to do it this way. If you, if you miss a day, then who cares about the rest of it kind of thing. That's just my personality. So I have gone into this with grace, with knowing that there is going to be some days I am not going to be able to do it right after the other day because I'm moving y'all I am moving into a house I'm so thankful closed Tuesday and so I know that I'm not going to be able to do it every single day consecutively but that's okay by the end of this I will have done 100 days you know what I'm saying also one of the tips that Shauna gave and that I had had adopted and she confirmed for me is to keep it simple keep it super simple I am going to I think get this chopped off and spiral bound because it's a little irritating having it like go like this all the time but here's the devotional there's devotionals and then there's four scriptures so don't forget your little scripture up here one two three four and then you have a prayer at the bottom and then you have the space to just create something simple you could just use it as a journaling space i mean she's already got all this cute stuff all around you don't even have to do anything right there i mean that's okay i mean go into it doing something you know you're going to enjoy doing I personally love color. I love plopping color and all that fun stuff. I really wanted to keep it simple. So what I've done for the main devotional parts when I'm reading, I am just using, I'll show you my little stash of stuff that I've been using. See, keep life simple. <laughs> I'm using mild liners to highlight things that are really special to me. I'm using pens to underline stuff, these little I think they're Stabilo pens. Yeah, these little Stabilo markers. You can get the little mini pack of them at like Hobby Lobby with a coupon. I use that to like underline certain things or square off certain things. I'm using this big fat feud ball 1.5 to underline stuff. And then every once in a while, I'll pop out my, my gold jelly roll pen. Like there was something over here I wanted to say or do. Let's see. Like I want to be a vessel for your grace. Like that. I like, so I'm going to messy frame it. I love messy frames. So there's that. And so keeping it simple. So I'm doing that every single day just as I am doing the devotional. This, those little things to add color and to, I mean, it's really, I love highlighting stuff. My Bible is crazy highlighted. And so that helps me. Also, what it does is as I'm reading and I'm highlighting something, I know then what I want to do for my page. For instance, um, for here, it's talking about, you know, coming home to your heart. Well, I have a whole song that's got this lyric, come away, come away with me. And so I knew I just wanted to stamp simply come away on this one. I found this, um, you know, simple. It's like there's a part here, ask the Lord how you should simplify. So I knew that that word, I highlighted it, I messy framed it, simple. That's my whole one little word for this year is simplify. So I had this car that was just laying around on my desk and that was my little thing for that day. For here, it's authentic life. It's talking about the light. Um, this is a very, very close subject for me right now, personally in my life. And I had this picture of a key that I made with Kate of the adopt shop. And I knew I wanted that to be my focal point because I wrote on there hope and light. Like those are very significant words for me, hope in light and walking in the light. And I just like threw on some stuff to cluster something there. I am with Jillian and the fact that I want this book to be not overthinking. I just want to get stuff down, use my scraps. I think I 
I've watercolored this at the craft house to show the ladies how you can make a really simple element. I can just stick it there. I had this, which I thought was perfect because this one's talking about choosing to bless. One of the um, Bible verses for this one is to take every thought captive. Well, this is like some sort of like capture, like, you know, the moment or something. But I thought, hey, we could capture every thought. So I was like, I'm going to use that because I don't know if I'm ever going to use that. I'm going to use my stuff. Um, so I have that. And then I used my vintage typewriter. There's another part of turn up the grace over here that I highlighted. So I just typed out turn up grace. And so I'll put that over here somewhere. So I'm going to do this page on time lapse it and you can enjoy that. And then I also wanted to say I practiced with a little bit of watercolor back here on the back page and it did not bleed through y'all. So I am very excited to possibly do some watercolor in here too. Before finding that out, what I have been doing is literally just taking some craft paint and a where's my small one i don't know where my small one is and a little spatula i have a bigger one that i can't find right now i've been scraping it on the page just to give some color that's all i've been doing and it's been really awesome so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to just put this together and then you'll see too i'm a journaler i love words i am always journaling all around whatever i'm doing so hope you enjoy this little time lapse